In this video, I'm going to look at functions. It's a continuation of topics under functions. So I'm going to look at the subtopic which is linear graphs. So I'm going to look at the topic which is linear graph. So uh, what we're going to do, which is new today, is just to draw a linear graph and the list of the things we're going to do are uh, these things we've been doing in the previous uh, three lessons three videos i produced are uh, all about what we're going to do before we draw the linear graph okay so if you are not conversant with certain things like ordered pairs there is a video in the description box i've put a link in the description box or you can still uh, watch this video up to the end at the end of the the video. I'm going to link that to link that video Okay, so We can draw a linear graph using ordered pairs. So I'm going to use ordered pairs to come up with a, a Cartesian graph Okay, so that's what we're going to do now. Let's go into uh, Drawing the linear graph Okay, so we are going to draw a Cartesian graph, or oh, sorry, there where it's plain, it's supposed to be graph, Cartesian graph, that's what we are going to draw. Then, after we draw that, before we draw that, we need to find the codes or the ordered pairs that will help us to draw this graph. So here is the scenario, here is the the information that can help us to come up with a graph given a function we given a function x has the image of 2x plus 2 draw the cartesian graph of the relation when graph when inputs are 0 1 2 3 and 4 Given a function, x has the image of 2x plus 2, draw the Cartesian graph of the relation when inputs are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so those are the inputs we are given. In other words, those are the domain we are given. Those are elements found in the domain. Okay, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a table down here. Okay. If you watch the previous video, you I'm sure you are familiar now of what is going to happen. So the first column is where we're going to put inputs. The second column is where the function will be, the one we're going to be using. Then the third is where the outputs will be. Then the last one is where we are going to write the ordered pairs. Okay, now for us to find the, the 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 output, the inputs are very important as well as the function. Okay, so I'm going to write the inputs here, which are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, the one which are given in the question. Then we are going to use the function given, which is x has the image of 2x plus 2 okay so now let's get started so what we're going to do we're going to replace 0 where there is x in that function so i've got a function which is 2x plus 2 so we're going to put 0 where there is x so that means we're going to multiply 2 by 0, which will give us 0, plus 2 will give us 2. So 2 is the output when the domain is 0. So the range will get is 2. Therefore, the order, the ordered pair is 0, 2. Now, what is the output when x is 1? So when x is 1, the output will be 4. I'm not going to go much in detail uh, on how to do this because there is a video where I took time to just do this. 
so if you are not conversant the link is in the description box or you can watch this video up to the end then later on i'm going to link the video uh, to that topic at the end of the video so uh, <clears throat> when uh, the input is one the outcome is six the output is four not six the output is four so we can come up with the ordered pair which is one comma four now when the input is two what will be the outcome so when two is the input the outcome will be six so when you see that function you say two by two give us four plus two will give us six so we're going to have a ordered pair of two comma six when the input is three the outcome is going to be eight which will give us the ordered pair of three comma eight when the input is four it's going to give us the output which is 10 and the ordered pair will be 4 comma 10 okay now we have found the ordered pairs of the uh, of these inputs as well as output so we have just gotten the input and the outputs then they are formed the ordered pairs now what we're going to do next now is we're going to draw a Cartesian graph okay so what we're going to do is i'm going to bring the graph paper here then i'm going to mark the papers the paper okay we're going to mark the paper then later on i'm going to number it okay okay i'm going to number it now i'm done numbering it so what we need to do before we do anything after numbering we need to identify the x axis and y axis this y axis now which one is the x axis on this graph so the horizontal line is the x axis and the vertical line is the y axis okay now once we have identified these parts now we can go to the next step so now let's go to the first uh, the first ordered pair we have gotten which is 0 comma 2 so 0 is is the reading on the x axis which is 0 so and then y then 2 is on the y axis so when you try to check on that x axis then go to y which is uh, 2 so it's going to be there just pay attention because the points i'm using they are very small so i'm going to mark there where there is 2 along the y axis going up you can see the paper mark there the paper dot which i've put there uh, it's marking the code the ordered pair which is 0 comma 2 okay the next one is 1 comma 4 so uh, one is here then four on the y-axis is there so I'm going to put it there I hope you can see it just where there is four and one down here four on the y-axis and one on the x-axis here down so there where these two lines are meeting that's why I've put a paper uh, dot there okay then the second one is 2 comma 6 so we, i'm going to put the mark on where these two lines are meeting from two down here going up where they are meeting with the line from six which is there i'm going to put a, a dot there then the next one is 3 comma 8 i'll do as wise as well where three the line from three is meeting the line from eight it's there okay then the last one is 4 comma 10 so where for the line from 4 is meeting the line from 10 so 4 is is the is the x-axis and then 10 from y-axis so where they are meeting it's there okay now once i've done that the next thing i'm going to do is now to draw the line to join these points i've marked okay so these points have marked to join them so i'm going to draw that line okay so that's a line that has 
uh, join those marks if you can see these marks when i draw the line there it's being marked like that okay so it joins all the dots i had put okay so now i have drawn the cartesian graph using the ordered pairs so basically this is how you draw a cartesian graph using a using ordered pairs thank you so much for watching if you found this video help remember to like it and also share with your friends if you have got questions you can ask us in the comment section we'll be glad to respond to them thank you so much it has been easy learning z mathematics the future is bright see you in the next video god bless you